Hey guys, what's going on? Coming at you at my uh, break here at work to uh, give you some thoughts on the that game that was played last night between the Bears and the Packers, and man, was that awful. That was terrible. That was an epic failure on the Bears' offense. I tell you one thing, Chicago is lucky they have the D that they do because if they didn't have such a good defense, that game would have been ugly and they're lucky that the Packers play terrible too that offensively offensively for the the uh Bears that game was an epic fail that was terrible I don't know if it was Nagy calling the plays or the offensive coordinator but that the flow of that game was awful who that the play calling was terrible the the one play that really that really stood out and where I was like all right the hell with this game when it was like third and three and you had Cordero Patterson lined up in the backfield and instead of uh, David Montgomery, what are you thinking, Chicago? You have Montgomery, who is a legitimate running back, and then you have Cordero Patterson, who is a meh receiver, and you're trying to run, to run the ball with him. What do you like? Honestly, what what are you thinking? Chicago put David Montgomery in that spot and pound the rock with him it's not a, it's not a hard concept the, the the overall play call like I said the the flow of the game the overall play calling was terrible it was it was awful and if you I mean if we really want to break it down Trubisky had Mitchell Trubisky had a terrible game terrible game the the Every ball, almost every football that he threw was off target. Almost every single ball was off target. That was, it was awful. That one ball that he threw deep that was severely underthrown by about a, by about two yards. If that cornerback or say, I forget, I forget if it was a cornerback or a safety, but that, that guy covering, I believe it was, uh, I forget who who was covering uh, for the Packers, but if he was even a a above average cor uh, cornerback, not even a great one, but above average, that ball is intercepted. Trubisky should have had three interceptions that game, and he got in incredibly lucky. He um, that was bad, man. That was a that was a bad look for Trubisky. He he had happy feet in the pocket. He he um was gun shy when he needed to throw the when he needed to throw those 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 footballs over the middle of the of the defense um you need to throw that ball with some velocity behind it and you needed to throw it in front of your receiver not on his back hip that is not that is not where you put that ball you put that ball those those footballs over the middle where only your receiver can get it can get it or it hits the dirt Trubisky had an awful game it was he yeah that was if you're if you're a bears fan and 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 that is your first showing of your starting offense you you should be concerned you should definitely be concerned if if now i know you're probably going to say it's the first it's the first game of the season and and uh you know they're still they're probably still trying to figure some stuff out this is a make or break year for Trubisky. If I don't see signif if I'm Chicago and I don't see significant growth out of him, he needs to go. He they they should have used Montgomery had like I think he had about 8 or maybe I think 9 carries, 8 carries something like that. That you should be giving him the ball 15 to tw 15 times a game, 15 to 18 times a game. He should touch the ball. And if you want to have, if you want to use Tyreek Cohen as a as a change of pace back, then go ahead and do that. Montgomery can handle the workload, and not only that, if memory serves me correct, the the center and the two guards for for the uh, Bears are elite run run blockers. Let Montgomery run the ball. And shout out to Rover Sports because he said the same thing. 
You need to pound the football with Montgomery. And I 110% agree with that. They, they should have controlled that game through the run game. Their offensive line is good enough, is good enough to control the, the Packers defense is not that great. And they made, they made the Packers D look like world beaters this, uh, to, uh, last night. That was brutal. That game was awful. What a horrible way to start the season off. And if you look at the, um, if you look at the, the, uh, their schedule, it is not going to get any easier. They, um, they, they have a very tough schedule. They play, they play Denver next. And, uh, that's not going to end well either. Cause that front seven and Von Miller, if that's the way that if they play the same way they played against Green Bay against Denver, they're going to get eaten up by that, by that Denver, uh, defensive line and Von Miller. That's, that's brutal, man. They, they, Something's going on in Chicago and they better, they better, uh, they better get it together or they're, they're, there's no way they're go, they're gonna, they're gonna ellipse, uh, eclipse that 12, I mean, 10 win, not even, never mind 12 win, 10 wins. They, they better get it together, uh, over there in Chicago or they're gonna be in trouble. It's, it's, uh, like I said, this is a make or break year for Trubisky for me. If I'm Chicago and I don't see significant growth and maturity as a quarterback, I end the Mitchell Trubisky experiment. I would end it because he's not your guy. I didn't think he was your guy last year. He's the inconsistency with, with, with Mitchell Trubisky is just too much for me. Like I, I can't take that. If you're if, to me, I'm old school with quarterbacks. You need to be an, an, an accurate, hard throwing pocket passer. Trubisky is not that he's not that not even close. He made some terrible decisions in that game. Terrible. And he's lucky that they didn't cost the team more than what they, more than what it did. Because he could have had three interceptions in that game. And two of those would have been on the Bears' side of the field. So Green Bay would have started with a short field. It, it, he, yeah, the, overall, it was a bad look, especially for Trubisky. But that, what a talk about a bad way to start the season. That, um, yeah, that was not fun to watch at all. So, those are my kind of thoughts on that game, guys. Once again, at least football, at least football has started though, and we're not going to be bored on Sunday, Mondays, and Thursdays. So y'all have a good day. I will catch you guys later. This is Rumboys Northeast, aka Butcher's Block and Patriots Talk, signing out. Peace.